Listen to that bell. You witnessed a special moment here on Fox 26 24 hours ago. Cancer survivor Lisa Valverde had just finished her final treatment but did not stick around to ring the bell at the hospital so she could get into line to meet Jose Altuve. Well, those two men right there heard her story and brought the bell to her. Lisa is here now along with her sister Candy Sanchez. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Good morning. Well, that moment gave everybody chills, I think, and we're still talking about it today. Tell us about the moment that you finally got up to the front of the line to meet Altuve after waiting more than 30 hours. I was just starstruck. I couldn't believe I was finally there to meet him, and um, it was just, it was a moment that I'm never going to forget. I think what makes us even more special is he had been paying attention and he knew you were going to be there and he was ready for you. Tell us about this jersey that you brought in and what happened. Well, he did tell me that he heard my story and um, he was like, well, here you go here. Um, I'm thinking he's just going to sign a picture for me like everyone else but he starts to sign the jersey and he says this is for you god bless you and i wish you the best uh candy how big of a fan is your sister i mean she's like a true diehard hard astro oh fan, yes i right? keep telling family now it's time for y'all to line up to get her autograph <laughs> <laughs> so you had did you hear about that he was going to do this meet and greet and as soon as you heard about it you were like i have to get in line yes ma'am when i saw that um and then my another one of my sisters also sent it to me i was like oh i already knew I already saw it and I knew that I had my last um, treatment that day. I said, um, uh, I'm going to do this. I'm thinking to myself. But on my way after my treatment, when I skipped the whole bell thing, I called my sister Candy and I let her know, hey, I'm done with my treatment and I'm on my way to go get in line for Altuve. And she thought I was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I actually told her, you're crazy. Yeah. <laughs> but then you showed up with her yeah. and you got to meet him as well and yes. experience it. That had to be beautiful oh, for your family. Yeah. So there are a lot of amazing and impressive Astros players. Why Altuve? Um, well, since the start, he's just always been my favorite. And he just seems like such a down to earth guy and so nice mm -hmm. to everyone. And I just always wanted to meet him. And I've tried before, but I've never got the chance. And I, when I saw that he was going to be there in Pasadena, I only live like 15 minutes away. So I was like, this is perfect. And, and I told her, I'm going to be the first one in line. <laughs> and you were. And you were. I mean, yes, she was. He is the heart and soul of the team, right? Yes. And what do you think of those two guys who set up that bell for you outside the store? That, were, did they work at Academy? No. No, they just were in line. That was amazing. You. They said they saw my story um, that, that y'all did in the morning and um, that it touched his heart. He said, and I just happened to have a bell in my backyard and I brought it for you to ring. Here's your bell to And ring. you didn't just ring it once. I mean, you were you <laughs> no. were doing a drum roll on that bell. I mean, that is the end of all in cancer treatments right there. Yes. Yes. Thank you for sharing your journey yes. with us. Congratulations thank on you. your victory over cancer. Yes, Only good you. help from now on yes. from yes. you. Thank you. Yes. And what thank a lovely you. sister you have to support <laughs> you as well. Thank you. Aw, thanks thank for sharing you. it. Take care, thank ladies. You. Thank you. All right. We